G'day footy heads, welcome to another edition of Behind the Play. I'm Dave Zafina and I'm joined by my co-host Daniel Malia. Daniel, how are you? Dave, good thanks mate, great to be here at Tigerland. We're in your homeland here, Tigerland this week. Yeah. Richmond, they're not travelling the best at the moment. No. 3-11. Uh, it's tough times at the Tigerland. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Um, Tigers have been doing it hard this year, but they have been improving. They went down to Adelaide by only 17 points on the weekend. Uh, they were down by 40, so they did fight back really well. They did, mate. And a catalyst for that was Robin Nahas. Kicked four goals um, and was just like the live wire there for the Tigers and really got them going in that last quarter. So promising signs for the Tigers. This week, they played Carlton. Now, in round one, it was Judd versus Cousins. They're back at it again. So it should be an interesting clash. Who's going to win this one? Look, I'm a Tiger supporter and I'm going to tip the Tigers. I don't know why, I've just got a funny feeling inside me, Dave, that we're going to come out hard. The way they've been training at the moment, they look the goods. And I think Carlton are coming back from Perth. They're going to be a bit tired towards the end of the game and I think we can do it. I tend to agree with you there. Perth is a big trip and it takes a lot out of the teams, especially this big one. Um, it's an important one for Carlton. They can't afford to drop this one. They fall back with the pack again. They were able to regain it last week against Fremantle. So it's going to be a big clash. I'm going to go with Carlton by five points in an absolute beauty at the MCG. But um, with more on the actual game and the injury reports, we're going to cross now to James Boyd. Thanks, boys. This is going to be a massive game, Richmond and Carlton. I'm here with the Richmond faithful, the most loyal of them all. I'm going to get a tip quickly, young man. Um, I reckon Carlton's got to get cleaned up. That's the spirit. He's uh, And who's going to win between Cousins and Judd? Definitely Cousins. Cousins. Well, it's good to know we've got plenty of Richmond supporters getting behind the team. How about someone from over here? Who do you think is going to win, young man? Uh, probably Richmond. Richmond all the way? Well, that's good signs. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to get straight into the injury report. Plenty of ins and outs for this game. Let's have a look at them. Their season may be at 3-11, and 11. however the Tigers were in good spirits today at Punt Road. Full-back Kelvin Moore was upbeat about his team's chances despite their 17-point loss to Adelaide last week on the Gold Coast. You can't take anything away from Adelaide. They, they played really well in the first quarter, but to our credit, we fought back and not at any stage we're happy with you know, a loss, but there were a lot of positives to come out of it. Injury concerns still loom for the Tigers. The most recent one, of course, is of star midfielder Nathan Foley, who sustained a calf injury against the Crows last Saturday night. Nathan Brown was in a modified group nursing his groin injury. We spoke to Kelvin Moore about Brown's injury. Here's what he had to say. Right, and Kelvin, the boys and I just want to know, how have Brownie's calves pulled up from the EJ Witten game? Yeah, I think he, I think he enjoyed doing those, he enjoys doing those type of things, but um, I, I think he's probably in contention of playing this week as well. He'll be up for, um, he's been training well, and so he could be a chance to play this week. As for the Blues, coach Brett Ratton is remaining tight-lipped on the team's final chances this season, despite an impressive 15-point away victory against Fremantle last Sunday. On the injury front, Andrew Walker is still about one to two weeks away from a shoulder injury. There's no doubt Carlton will be keeping a close eye on the midfielder as he looks to make a return to the side in the coming weeks. And in an exclusive, behind the play can reveal that Heath Scotland and Nick Stevens are no certainty to line up for the Blues this week, despite strong performances for the Northern Blue Ants last weekend. That is the injury report for round 15, Richmond v Carlton. But finally, I'm going to get one final tip from all the kids here. Who do we think is going to win, guys? Go it's back to you, boys. Thanks, James. Now, we're here at the home of football. And as James just said before, that Nathan Brown is no certainty to line up this week. He's going to be tested. We saw him at the Legends game, Dan. Um, he didn't look too comfortable with that calf injury. So, no. will he line up? Look, I reckon he's about a 50-50 chance at the moment. Um, I saw him training before and he, was, he couldn't even make the distance with 40 out. So, obviously, that groin is, is giving him problems. I mean, he needed a runner for the runner at the EJ Witten Legends game. So, 50-50 chance. We'll have to see how he comes up. I guess we'll, we will. And we'll find out Saturday afternoon at 2.10 when Richmond play Carlton. But uh, we're going to cross now to our expert tips and see who they're back in. We're with one of the Tigers faithful, Kai. Kai, thanks for joining us on Footy Heads. Good. Good. <laughs> Richmond, of course. Yeah. yeah. Well, how much? Um, oh, probably 46. Who's going to win between Carlton and Richmond this week? Sydney. <laughs> Who's going to win this week, Richmond or Carlton? Richmond. Richmond, yeah. Can yeah. Cousins beat Judd this week? Mm, 
Yes. There you have it, guys. They're the expert tips from the Tigers faithful. Until next week, I'm Dave Zafina. And I'm Daniel Malia. And you've been watching Behind the Play. See you next week. I think it's just going out, like knowing we're going to win and um, really going after it. I think that um, in the past we've questioned whether we're going to win or not and uh, that's not the case this year. Every game we've gone, gone out like, hoping we're going to win and putting our best foot forward.